Hello, Randy here with our nearly nine-year-old, um, mostly vegan, golden doodle, um, Snickers. She uh, is getting a little excited here. I think she knows something good's coming. And it is, I have the new organic V-Dog brand Wiggle Biscuits. They're peanut butter flavored. They are all natural, gluten-free, vegan, of course. Um, the ingredients are include peanut butter, flaxseed, cinnamon, coconut oil, banana, and some vitamin E. Just a little more detail on these. Crude protein is uh, a min minimum of 23%. Uh, crude fat minimum, 17%. Crude fiber max is 4% and the moisture max is 5%. Uh, so this is some really high quality um, dog treat. Now, I take my diet pretty seriously. Um, over six years on a 100% plant-based diet, and sometimes I semi-jokingly tell people, uh, most people, that I wouldn't feed what they're eating to my dog. So therefore, it would follow that anything I am gonna feed my dog, I would eat it myself. So that's what I'm gonna do. I've eaten the vegan kibble. I've even chewed on the uh, breath bones from Feed Dog. So next up, Wiggle Biscuits. First, the sniff test. Smells very good. And they're shaped like hearts. Very, very good. All right, obviously Snickers is very interested in these. Here you go, sweetie. Four of them down the hatch pretty quick. All right, Snicker buddy, here's one more for you. And I'm gonna try mine with some cranberry apple butter. Needs just a little more zest for my liking. Mmm, that's delicious. Just five days ago, uh, Snickers and I ran over 20 miles um, in pretty nice weather. She did just fine. You can see she's strong and healthy, going on nine years old. And um, I brought along some V-Dog kibble and extra water. Two of her very favorite things are running and chewing on a V-Dog breath bone. All right, some more whiskets for Snickers. I'm gonna try something I've never done. Uh, I'm gonna bake up some, uh, a, a couple dishes, one for Snickers, one for myself, and see how a full meal of V-Dog kibble and whiskets goes down. For Snickers lunch today, I'm gonna use a generous amount of coconut oil, uh, some vegetables, including some yellow squash, with the V-Dog kibble and the new Wiggle Biscuits. I'm training for an April 29th, fourth annual CNO Canal 100 mile foot race. So I need to eat right. So my lunch will be freshly chopped green onions, V-Dog kibble and Wiggle Biscuits sauteed in Trader Joe's Island Soyaki low-fat sauce, along with some extra minced garlic. Onion and garlic are no-nos for dogs. As well as some black bean pasta and some red lentil pasta. While Snickers wiggles and kibbles are cooling down, I'm going to sample my kibble and wiggles. Try to say that 20 times fast. There is, <clears throat> there is a, uh, a wiggle. Mmm. 
I figured the peanut flavor with the uh, soyaki, teriyaki flavor would be good. And it is. Not bad with pasta. And there are a couple bites of kibble. Mmm, the soyaki softened up that kibble a little bit. Pretty tasty. Subtle, yet complex. I know you wish you were me right now. That's the most dog food I've ever eaten in one setting. And, um, you know, I've been saying for years that our dog eats better than most people. Truth. I could probably chew a breath bone right now, but I think I'll brush my teeth and go find the dog. Snickers is back. And her sautéed wiggles, wiggle biscuits and kibble is ready, cooled, and... Okay, th this is closer to how I normally feed our dog. Uh, I generally make her food and then add a little bit of kibble to it. So this is maybe a little more kibble than normal. Uh, of course, the wiggle biscuits are new. Looks like she's going to eat the entire bowl. 